Hello, uh, my name is Anthony and I'd like to do a quick demo for you of the Universal Motion Detector Elite application that I just wrote. Uh, originally this application was written uh, for a Raspberry Pi uh, IoT um, demo I wanted to do and I wanted to present at conferences and uh, the app turned out to be pretty cool so I decided to put it on the market uh, so everyone could enjoy it. So you'll notice that immediately when you start the application that uh, roughly every 10 seconds a new baseline image is taken. Uh, each baseline image will be used to uh, kind of whitelist uh, for motion on the screen. So each of these uh, images are used uh, whenever uh, something new appears on the screen and if uh, it doesn't match up, if it doesn't come close to these images, then uh, it will throw an alert. So uh, let's take a look at that. So if I take my rubber ducky here and I move them in front of the camera, you'll see we get alerts. And get a couple there. There we go. And you can see we have rubber, rubber ducky alerts over here. Um, now the timestamp correlates to each individual image and you can actually select the image and right click and save if you'd like. Uh, now there's also uh, some other features I'd like to cover. Uh, there's a SMTP feature where you can actually have the, email, uh, you can have the images emailed to you. So I've taken the liberty of pre-configuring Gmail and Yahoo. So if you have a Gmail account or a Yahoo account, uh, just choose Gmail or Yahoo and then uh, it'll automatically fill in the port and the SMT, SMTP server information for you. Uh, you're gonna want SSL on for both of those. Uh, and then you just put in either your Gmail email and password uh, or your Yahoo email and password. Uh, and, or if you have your own custom SMTP server, you can use that. Uh, and then this is where you want the email to go uh, and it'll shoot it off uh, after uh, the alert delay, I'm sorry, the alert threshold is hit. So right now I have it set to one. Uh, so every one or more images that it collects, it'll email it out to you, but you can set it to three or 10 or whatever you want. Um, the capture delay is how frequent it's going to look at the image for alerts. Uh, the alert delay is, uh, this is, I'm sorry, the capture delay is in milliseconds. Uh, the alert delay is, uh, how many seconds in between each alert. So I have it set to two seconds, so it's not just the same image over and over. Uh, and then these two uh, you can mess with. Um, the pixel delta is, so, so what the application does is it looks at every pixel uh, from each baseline image uh, over here and compares it to the captured image. And if there's a difference in the pixel, then it knows that there's a change on the screen. And then it looks at the percentage of pixels uh, compared to the baseline images. And if it's above this number, the image delta in percent, then it'll throw an alert. So right now it's saying if, uh, if 30% plus or minus 30% of the pixel has changed, and if 10% uh, of the overall image has changed uh, in pixels, then it'll throw an alert. Uh, and then up here you can choose to uh, send an email to yourself or not. Uh, it's off by default. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I look forward to your feedback. If you have feedback, please click about and feel free to come in here and uh, leave me some feedback, give it a rate and review. I'd be happy to hear your feedback and ideas for more uh, features. Uh, or you can reach out to me on Twitter or on my blog. And uh, I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Thanks.